Hello everyone, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how we can create a hinge constraint in NX assembly. So this hinge constraint was not available in the lower version like NX12 and below. So this is recently introduced in NX versions. By using this hinge constraint, we are going to rotate the component and check if there are any interferences or clashes with the other components. So without wasting our time, let's get started to hinge constraint. So now this is the model that I'm going to use and here is the base which is completely fixed. You can see here the fixed constraint is already given to this particular base. And there is a one more component which needs to come and attach to this particular hole. And now we are going to give a hinge constraint for that. So in order to provide a hinge constraint, I'll just go to assembly constraints. And now you can see here there is a hinge. Okay, so as soon as I select this hinge constraint, uh, there is a window which we need to provide an axis on a first object. So I'm going to select this axis. You can see here this is the center of the axis and we need to specify the point. Okay, so I'm going to specify this point center point and now we need to select the same vector and point on the second object. So I'm going to select a vector along this direction and the point should be along this so once i select this point whatever the point that is selected in a second object and the first object are going to meet each other suppose if you select this one the component is coming and it fits on the outside so we just need to select it the points very carefully so now i'm going to select this point so as soon as i select the point you can see the component is properly aligned with the base model now if you see there are a value here which we can able to provide an angle from how much angle it has to rotate and fix so if you want to give it you can just enter the values here and keep it so in this case i'm just going to try to rotate the component and show it to you so i'm going to switch off this and i'm going to give upper limit and lower limit so if i give lower limit and upper limit as 0 to 180 the component is going to rotate only from 0 to 180 so since i have given 180 and 0 i'll just click ok and now if i go to right click and move component so this is going to rotate by 180 degree and it is going to stop in this case suppose if you don't want to provide any angle and if you want to check all 360 degrees so in that case what you can do is you can just go to hinge here and switch off this upper and lower limit and you can just click ok and now if you go to move command and try to rotate this component you can able to rotate it entirely so this is the way how we can able to use the hinge command guys if you have any doubt please comment in the section below i will try to answer thank you